In this video, I'll talk about uh, how to accurately compute the concordance index in, in the logistic regression. So, uh, so what is concordance? Well, concordance is uh, the probability uh, that uh, the probability score for 1 um, is greater than the probability score for 0 in a logistic regression where your dependent variable uh, text values of 0 and 1 and you are modeling for 1 okay so in the case of say you know credit scoring uh, the uh, the probability that the credit score for um, a bad customer is greater than the credit score of a good customer okay um, I'm sorry uh, I said the ULTA uh, the uh, credit score for a good customer is greater than the credit score of a bad customer so, uh, so what it essentially does is it, it gives us an um, indicator. So it's an indicator uh, for the predictive power of a logistic regression model. So uh, the more the concordance, uh, the better is the model. Okay. So I'll take uh, a data set, a small data set, uh, to uh, you know demonstrate that uh, how how we can you know compute it accurately. What happens in uh, PROC logistic in SAS is that it actually approximates uh, concordance. It has a problem with it. So you can actually uh, compute concordance in a, a different uh, way and uh, you can achieve a more, a better accuracy. So I'll take the CARS data set uh, from the uh, SAS help. So I've uh, created a different variable. Uh, so mileage greater than 30. Uh, I'm saying is high mileage one, else its high mileage is zero, right? And the independent variable I'm taking here is horsepower. Okay, so I'll use uh, uh, the proc logistic to find out the probability of high mileage uh, given the horsepower, or, uh, or uh, horsepower of a vehicle will will determine whether um, a car will have high mileage, right? So. Uh, how is the proc logistic syntax? Well, the proc logistic syntax is like this proc logistic data, and then you know input data set. We'll use the descending uh, because you know we are modeling for uh, high equal to one, and then in the model we have the dependent variable as high and the independent variable uh, as horsepower. Now we'll also save the uh, output in our data, and we'll also save the uh, predicted probability, and we'll give it a name as predicted underscore uh, pred underscore high. Right, so this is the predicted probability, and you know we we uh, or the predicted value of um, of the dependent variable. So we'll run this. All right. So what we got is uh, the concordance index is ninety seven point two. Now the problem with uh, this concordance index is that uh, it is slightly flawed, right? In concordance, uh, how do you co compute concordance? Well, concordance is uh, nothing but you know the different number of pairs for uh, you know both ones and zero and their corresponding probability values. Okay, so you compute the concordance and then you compute discordance and then you know compute uh, the tied uh, and then take the whole number of pairs. So the formula is. Uh, the concordant pair plus dis uh, minus discordant pair uh, plus tied uh, and you know whole divided by n, which is the number of total number of pairs. If you're not familiar with this, uh, you know calculation of concordance uh, index, you can watch the video on uh, uh, computing concordance index uh, on my channel. So that's how you you compute. We'll not get into details of how we compute concordance, but here uh, that you know that the term tied uh, is something that is uh, uh, you know creating an issue here because in proc logistic it approximates in the range of 0 0.002 so anything that is coming uh, in that range it it considers uh, the two uh, probability values as same and then you know it approximate as a tied group but which is actually not the case because you know if there is a difference of you know uh, 0.2 percent, then it, it is a significant percent or of difference. So sometimes it it uh, uh, you know it, it should be considered as as a a, a different uh, group uh, should not be considered as tied group. Okay. Hence this is an issue uh, in proc logistic. Um, 
so it approximates so to get more accurate concordance you can actually use proc frequency and uh, you know uh, find more accurate concordance value so here is how you get it um, we'll use the data set uh, the out data that we have saved so let let just go and see what is there in our data so in our data we have uh, the uh, the original data set horsepower mileage and then you know high value which is the dependent variable um, well uh, then we we uh, also saved the uh, probability value uh, the predicted probability value now what you do is you take uh, proc frequency and then we use the uh, you know the out data that we, we just used and then table uh, the predicted uh, probability for high uh, high uh, mileage and then uh, the dependent variable that we had used so predicted probability uh, in the logistic regression and then the dependent variable in the logistic regression and then we'll get a couple of uh, statistical measures so we'll use an option measure and uh, whatever measures we are getting here we'll save it in a data set called uh, frequency out and we also uh, try to get what is known as a SOMOS tree uh, statistics. Okay, so this syntax should be, uh, you know, should be used. Okay, so SOMOS tree statistic you can get by you know, using SMD RC option. Okay, so we'll run this and we'll see uh, what we get. So in the output you can see that we're, we're getting so many number of, uh, you know, statistical uh, outputs. So what is important for us is SOMOS D. Okay, this one, the one I have highlighted. And from here, we can actually uh, compute uh, the concordance. Okay, so uh, concordance index, uh, the C statistics or concordance index is nothing but 1 plus the SOMOS D uh, whole divided by 2. So it's a simple formula. Uh, 1 plus, so this is the formula. Concordance is 1 plus SOMOS D whole divided by uh, 2. Now you simply take a data statement and do the calculation and you can also uh, you know compute the standard error uh, which is you know what you have already got uh, in the previous thing and then you know divided by 2. So this is how you uh, compute the concordance. So now we'll uh, run this code and you know this is how uh, and it gives us uh, concord concordance and the standard error. Right, so concordance here is 97 also. Um, there, so that will, that would have been uh, you know slight difference, but in many cases where you know you have, you, you, the data size is quite large, you will see slight difference in the concordance value you get from proc logistic and what you uh, find by using uh, proc frequency. Okay, so the uh, particular code that I am showing here is useful when you want more accuracy or higher accuracy in your concordance value remember that concordance value is an important measure while evaluating the uh, logistic regression models you could have several models and you probably will be uh, you know trying to assess which model is is the best one and sometimes even the slightest of the precision matters and in that case knowing the accurate uh, concordance is very important and hence you can use this code uh, in, in, in you know such scenarios thank you